So asset risk management um, builds on our pedigree as the owner and particularly builds on our pedigree as a German owner. Naturally, we are risk averse and we have had to build up a set of risk management approaches that allow us to safely operate our assets. And only as an owner and an operator do you really understand what this risk is that you're carrying because that is fundamentally what you're managing your asset on. Um, and we now share that around the world in different countries to improve the safety and performance of their asset. We use a methodology called a Bowtie Risk Visualizer. Uh, and this Bowtie Risk Visualizer um, is fairly known inside uh, our industry. Um, it is, like the name said, it is indeed a bow tie as we know it. Um, we are looking at the incidents, the main incidents which may happen on any physical asset we are operating. And then we are looking into the barriers we are having in place in order to avoid any of those incidents to happen. And then we have the other side of the bow tie where we are looking at recovery barriers so that if anything happens, we are still uh, uh, lowering the impact of it to happen. Uh, if you are operating a power station, actually one of the highest, uh, let's say, um, risks you are running is that you need humans to operate that plant. So they are all operating it a little bit different and you need to, let's say, find a systematic to analyze what kind of risks are we introducing by operations. Are we compliant with what we are doing? Do we need to have some kind of training? Are we wasting resources on operations or not? Now, if I uh, look into the different risks which you are having when you are operating a power station, you actually need to be having a very rigorous system around those kind of risks. And uh, we call our system the Rome model, uh, risk-based operational and maintenance excellence. And I haven't seen anything which is tackling all the dimensions of different risks you are having in your, uh, for your physical asset in a process which is actually communicating to each other. Making sure that you are driving out the highest commercial um, value of that installation, you need my risk process. Now you will be able to demonstrate at any point of time that you are not a negligent operator. Uh, you will then be able to demonstrate to your shareholders that you are investing money only where commercially it makes sense. And you will be always able to demonstrate that you are doing what the, uh, what, what the industry standard, so you are performing against those industry standards.